Hello, greetings to those concerned. Sincerely, sorry, I am not using. I have to use my on one hand. Uh, I came on wire from Karachi. I was on the internet using Facebook, so I'm not using my. Uh, I mean, as for wrapping people up, like Gulzar Elia said, and imposing my will on others. But this energy now, they've told me something while I was eating that there are some things which uh, now this, this, uh, just to, for my record, uh, I know that you people out there uh, will only understand your life story and want us to understand your life story, but you want uh, some of you who don't care. But I don't know what it is, but Gozarelia was crying and uh, apologized and all this. Now you see, uh, I'm just w uh, telling you, I don't know how to put this in proper words. Oh my God. So uh, this thing on me and I, I'm, I have to come here for the record. I think it was a, also a setup. And I know how some people's minds are working now. Uh, to teach me a lesson or something, you know. I don't know. I suspect, but it was coming to me like maybe it, it is a setup and all this. And maybe some people are, many people have their own opinions like, uh, you know, I was lonely and why didn't, why don't you live with your siblings? But I was living with my mother in Karachi. So they have all these opinions of us how to live our lives and what what we should be doing. And uh, so no matter how much I tell them, it didn't start from here in Dubai being alone and living lonely. But of course, with all people being around in a crowd, you can like I feel lonely in this whole world. So, you know, you brought this on me, or you brought this on yourself. Like, I've been taking this alone at times, certain things, secrets of people, things I've seen that I didn't like in others, in myself, hypocrisy, all this. So, um, so when I see here, please cooperate, please understand that someone is not well, they say that I'm using my... I'm using my health to, uh, you know, because I myself have, so I tell them that there's something on me and it gets me angry and someone wanted to trap me, you know, uh, they won't listen. And it's not that I'm feeling sorry for myself and I wasn't like this before, but something got into me. And okay, maybe later on in an innocent moment of feeling sorry, like Robert Chalas, I've been contemplating on that too. And all this. Another thing is that the person, or I feel controlled, or maybe I controlled myself, and some of you got out of, you are very strong people and atheists, but I have a problem with God and sometimes when I have this problem with God I share it but I will not put myself maybe I'm a hidden maybe unconsciously it is hidden in me that I'm an atheist now and I, I'm a hidden atheist I've got it there are skeletons that I don't want to bring out. So yes, whatever you may think, but I, I'm sharing. If you don't like it, I don't want you to give your, these kind of, reserve your opinions. If your mother has not taught you, then get away. Right? Don't be nosy 
and don't tell us what to do in our lives. So, this is what I want to tell you, people. Don't use people, their weakness, and say that we are using our weakness to wrap people up. Like uh, this one said, what was her name? His name. What was his name? Gulzar area. Hello, yeah, so there's no, uh, according for me, if, uh, okay, I'm, if I say there's no Mehdi, Imam Mehdi, and uh, certain, I can't believe in this religion, fully agree to the Quran verses, some of the ones which I have had a problem with. So uh, there was this, uh, sorry, energy on me. So... I had to get up now and do this. If you don't agree to this, uh, it is your problem, not mine. So, uh, this uh, a kind of uh, energy comes like when I've met a hypocrite and my inside knows something. Anyways, I don't know about the apostate prophet or what, but if I don't know, no scientist is going to tell me what is behind him. So as for my religion, we used to say that we don't know about people. So God had given us these infallible beings to guide us, that we could trust, because they never hurt anyone. and. Um, we know about their lives and all this. We were, like I said in the past video. Uh, so, I don't know what is the problem with these atheist Muslims, ex-Muslims, with me. And what is my problem with them? I've uh, come out with it. Try to explain it uh, to the best of my abilities in English and Urdu. So I, I, if I'm wrong, I will apologize. So the thing is that uh, now I don't know what to say. I don't know what kind of people are after me on YouTube, following me, uh, subscribing. Whether they, uh, when I say please cooperate, my health is not well. If I, uh, sometimes uh, the certain feelings I get, maybe they are delusions. And uh, yes, I did. Uh, I admit, I confess that I was a very, very insecure feeling, like I had uh, fallen in lower self. And, uh, you know, I couldn't rise above, like I used to tell myself at times, no, no, rise above these petty things. That this person didn't invite me properly at the wedding, so we will not go. You no, know, no, this kind of a thing. We didn't receive a proper card, or uh, they didn't come to our house, or no, no, I would say no, like uh, we should go. It is our duty, it is sawab. Uh, nikah hai, or you know, if they invite us for the nikah or the wedding. So, this is the way I used to rise above, even in the depression during Mr. Sa's years. This one didn't say hi to me, uh, tit for tat. This one didn't speak to me, but you be the great one and do the great thing, and all this. So, I, I could rise above uh, those times, even in my depression and hellish years separated from his Tissa, and uh, yeah, there was something I couldn't take, hypocrites. Uh, so, uh, sorry, this is a message, and so I couldn't take it. 
Now, the thing is that uh, there are some things I could rise above and say, no, no, we should, uh, I should go, even if they didn't invite me properly to the wedding, or I know I'll be the on, alone there and maybe not get attention, but I should enjoy being alone and enjoy the couple's happiness and all this. So what's happened to me, uh, I can't, uh, it's uh, sometimes here, uh, the pain, uh, the pressure uh, raises, arises, uh, grows worse. And uh, the frustrations and all, uh, Imam Mehdi is not going to come now. But I was shown in my dream uh, that uh, Imam Mahdi. So I was shown, so I thought, okay, Imam Mahdi uh, has shown me, even though I was, my father has uh, said ziyarats, you know, I don't even remember, I don't know fully, I don't, I haven't memorized my Shia ziyarat uh, recital, even though my father is a ziyarat reciter. So, I didn't know, I one dream I remember pointing at Imam Mehdi, showing them, my father was next to me, that have you seen, look it's Imam Mehdi, uh, so, and my aunt got her late. So, uh, so then this uh, Bibi Fatma Tazara's help came, telepathically communicating uh, from a distance. So I thought, and uh, the thing was that I was going through a lot, uh, like I was compelled and I was controlled. And many years like this passed away in faith in God and El Al Bayt. Uh, there were ups and downs, like I would question, I would say, sorry, I don't understand this. And and then this is your enemy, this, uh, this thing. But, uh, about me, my marriage and all this didn't come true. But uh, for other people, something like, for instance, one day I was told that this came true, that your brother is coming to Karachi from Dubai. And I had no idea. So I don't know who, but they communicated to me like this. And for sure, the next day, my brother said like he couldn't tell many people or something. He just came at, uh, you know, just for whatever, like he just made up his mind to come. So sorry, there's some thing that now she won't be able to talk properly, kind of a smile, smirky thing. Like uh, she won't be able to say this, you know, about her brother making a decision overnight or something to come or in a few days I don't know. So even my mother didn't tell me. My mother was alive. So I don't know. And about this thing uh, I all of a sudden I stumbled upon Although I was mocking, laughing myself, that God can't, uh, God can't even control himself. He's pure awareness. So, like he can't be anything. He, he can't even go into, like what, he's pure awareness. So if we describe God, like being pure awareness, unborn, right? This is uh, unborn, like Moji Baba with Moji Baba. Yeah. So then uh, this thing just being, it can't even control it. It, ha it has to be here. It's unborn, it's eternal, it's timeless. No one created it. But the thought that came in my mind was, even this is helplessly, in being unborn. Oh my God, so it really struck me.
that even God is helpless in his being. Oh my God, this is a real shock. God can't help being. He is thus helplessly pure awareness. But uh, is there a... You see, we can go slowly, helplessness. So my, the mind says that this is helpless, pure awareness. <laughs> So I'm laughing at myself also, I think, in this mind. This one thing is out of his control. <laughs> this one thing is out of his control. <laughs> so the mind has come up with, God can't help, help being. He is thus helplessly pure awareness. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that thing of uh, it's <laughs> out of our qu question if God can't help being pure awareness how are we going to anyone who wants to uh, like disbelievers or atheists say that God doesn't exist and after this world where we are going we don't know <laughs> whether we are going anywhere or we'll just die here. So the Quran ayat is, you know, they say that we will, this life is all we have, life and death is here, and that's all there is. There's no coming back. And then where they go by chance somewhere else, <laughs> they will come up by chance. You know, because uh, <laughs> atheists say, uh, no, the scientists say that this world was created, uh, came up by chance. So there was a, whatever there was, Big Bang or, anyways, atheists say that, so there's nothing well and good, there's nothing. So this is the nothingness that I want to go into. The atheists which they say, like there's no, I don't want to go into a, some heaven, a living, enjoying a sharbat and all this, you know, wine, rivers of sharbat, wine, sharbat, or milk, or the enjoying, enjoying, at peace, uh, enjoying. There's uh, abundance. So, anyways, this is where I've got, and I'm sharing, uh, not with the brutal people. If you now are going to tell me that I'm using my health to end apni man mani mein kar rahi hu, so I'm not doing my man mani because meri man mani to. Even on my page on Facebook, there came a Pakistani man to remind me that I'm a woman and I shouldn't be showing my face on Facebook and being there so late on live stream. Oh, 108 a.m. in Dubai. Yeah, so, oh my God. Um, I wish God, had, some someone would have made our wishes come. If we want to go into nothingness after this and not enjoy heaven, we can go into nothingness, meaning no, not even pure consciousness. I wish God was like that, but he's not. Nothing is easy here. We can't even wish ourselves to just nothingness. No existence, nothing. Not even existing as pure awareness. We don't want that. What's the use of all this? Sufferance, punishments, guilty, 
then we have guides coming, one is saying uh, this longing for God, Parmaam Savishwananda, then the same echoing of Imam Mahdi's things and all this uh, from the Quran, same kind of religion, but only a different idol worshipping. Some things he says echo uh, the Muslim, or sorry, our Quran ayats very like, oh my God, yes, oh my God. Are you Imam Mahdi uh, by any chance? Uh, so like that, right? I question him. Although I'm not, uh, I don't question him on the comment section. I question him like this and this madness indirectly, distance. So, and also I've uh, made a, this is all a setup, uh, you know. I don't think a positive prophet or someone's son just got ill because I was here. I mean, this is this is insecurity. The, I wouldn't even give much, not at all, any importance. Like for a little while, I think, yeah, what are they trying? Okay, are they trying to do this? If they are, then. Who cares? Do they mean anything to me? So, but what made me realize, like, all this curse and, you know, Khudan ko puchega and, no, no, uh, but, uh, no, no, what, uh, what, whether I'm, I'm wrong, I know, uh, but in this uh, insecurity and madness, but the thing is that, can you, uh, like I had to stop and say, Zara, uh, oh, sorry, God, it's not me, don't do this. So, you know, like, um, if, uh, some, some energy has been pulling me down or uh, due to something in my life, I've been pulling myself down. And hurting myself. You know, like it's tempting when the world wants to hurt you. We we actually have come from martyrs. So I used to say, you oh, know, Hazrat Abbas failed. So you know, Hazrat Abbas failed, and uh, uh, the the enemy is not going to understand. We will have to give our blood, our lives. So if you think that the enemy is going to understand, Hazrat uh, Imam Hussain gave Ali Asghar six months old. The enemy is not going to understand. But still we do our best from A1, uh, from the, sorry, square one. We start like Imam Hussain, like with the Sunni Muslims, if they want, that's only if they want to come and discuss. If they are on YouTube and if they are saying things against the Shias, we have no right to go there and stop them. Let them say what they want to say. If uh, you know the day when uh, in Pakistan, Zakir Naik said that uh, Yazid is was good. Yazid was also not bad. It's for God. God knows best what these two Muslim believers did in Karbala. It is not our place. So some Shias got up and said, to say, uh, he's saying this. So I was like, maybe in his own way, I, I wouldn't go there on Zakir Naik's whatever page or the video, but now YouTube has come out. I wonder if in Karachi, uh, we could use this YouTube. At that time, somehow Zakir Naik had said this in some video and it was going around. Uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise my Shias to. And most of my Shias don't. If the Sunnis uh, to uh, have this self-defense thing. But if they want to learn, like, you know, if someone doesn't want to learn, they want to know the other side, we, who are we to force them? To know our side, just because they were killing the Shias, then I said yes. 
but if someone like zakir naik dr zakir naik from their side or says something against us and if uh, like a does jannat jeetna hai uh, you know someone was saying like the sipai sahiba so uh, if they want we, we who are we to go there unless they uh, you know they saying to kill one shia is to get uh, the paradise of god in pakistan sipai sahiba i heard i'm not sure how far that is true or what was in their mind like shias are kafir and is it also no shias are kafir shias say bad things to our sahaba but from your hadiths so yeah so if i have to explain in detail this my way right now so if let's say if someone says if the sunni say that shias killing one shia is getting i, I don't know I have to talk to the sipahi sahiba. My, um, my father even tried to talk to one of them, ask them if they were sipahi sahiba, the green pagri wale. And they, they said, no, no, we are from uh, J- Muhammad Jaisham. We are Rasulullah, something like uh, so, uh, some other. They, they said, no, we are not uh, from the sipahi sahiba. So I would say like... Uh, if they want to come to us and but they won't come because they think we are some false like they see what they, they have been brainwashed against us how they have been and they don't want to come and question us because they think they're not going to get the truth from us so kill us we will be in taqiya so it was a terrible thing like But anyway, so because life, Shia's lives were in danger and then there was Jainish sides, I made this understanding Shia Islam group on Facebook and uh, against terrorism. I'm a Shia, come and kill me. I haven't said this on Facebook when I was in Karachi. now if you say it on facebook there are many rules like no no you are inviting they won't understand they think that i'm inviting terrorists uh, uh maybe i am to kill me i'm a shia kill me right so i don't know what the sipai said but any sunni muslim who hates shias and you see i tried to uh, they I I this time I went to Farid's channel. There was a comment in the comment section. But they had they have put something. I said no Shias are not like Shias are like this this this, right? So, but I wouldn't advise you to waste your time on that. If they don't if they end, yeah. When they come to your channel like I have a channel on YouTube with my name truth seeker or uh, zahra jawad um sometimes i change it to apostate ex muslim sometimes it's only zahra jawad so uh if they come on my channel i i started to talk to them and say that look you can't say that we should not be shias because in in the uh, quran there's a ayat that abraham was the shia of no so that then they stopped as in the in someone's live stream i also said i answered the sunni that uh, if you're saying that uh, don't call yourself shia so well, abraham was the shia of no in the quran it is written in surah saf or safat ayat number i forgot and so they told me that uh, no no you one said that uh, i was lying i meaning i've taken it from uh, quran fake quran so you know these kind of things if these uh, 
Sunni Muslims don't want to, they don't have to, we, can, we should not be wasting our time. We should be putting our time on to become like uh, Bibi Fatma, Zahra, Imam Ali, if we are, or whatever, like a husband and wife, children, how to, how a daughter is with her mother, then look at Bibi Zainab, look at Bibi Fatma, Zahra, like uh, Rasulullah has given us examples through his family also, not only his life. And if his life is taken into shreds and, uh, you know, pieces by, and uh, demoralized by the Umayyads, because Imam Hussain, we have to then, because Imam Hussain, we were told that, you know, if we leave Karbala, then there will be no Islam left true Islam left. So uh, Rasulullah, that's why has given us his uh, family to follow and they have uh, w endured. So we have to look at the example of Imam Hassan in Karbala and his family members. Otherwise no true Islam will remain. Or you can become Sunni Muslims. So, and then we have all these hadiths that Dr. David Wood and the others are giving us. So, uh, but I, as I'm, I, I don't know, I'm a truth seeker, I'm still trying to see, well, where is that true God who can hear uh, the prayers, wishes, and all. I don't know when he will be coming to help. But can there be someone like that? So, like in Surah Nisa, Surah Nisa ayat that uh, men, women, and children are calling out, please God send us from among you a person, helper, protector, to help us, protect us, because we are oppressed. I can't remember the number of the ayat. Anyways, but uh, let's see if there is, if there could be, and why should there be. For me, I'm giving my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, I'm not saying, if I'm saying why should there be, it is like, should there be? It's not like like my mind is thinking on these terms, please. Apni man mani karna or ye karna and not listening to other people. Azad ground type, please. So I don't know in any other way how to say this. Uh, you should, should there be someone like a Mahdi coming and helping and should we pray to God like this? Because we found the Quran, we found some, I found uh, some, like in Surah Azab. And then I found some problems like the way it is put uh, the, in Surah Noor Ayat. I cannot uh, tell you in words properly. So if like uh, you think like me, then welcome. And this doesn't mean, you know, that I'm imposing my views. I'm just sharing my thoughts and if you will cooperate and if you are like-minded people like me, please stay here and if you are not then khali wali. You don't have to be here. So I don't like to, now I've started to really, you know, tell you off.
And so, you want to, uh, another point came up that if you want to see the good side of Rasulullah, you can. And you, there's a bad side to Rasulullah. It's given in the Sunni hadiths and it's also some things in my Shia, a book, Alama Majlisis, which uh, the Shias uh, don't consider one of the, I don't know what is this really, what to make out of this. And then, you know, like the heretic, uh, Zafar heretic, on one hand we Shias cry, for Imam Hussain, which crying, I'm not saying, could to be with dard karishta, you know, dard karishta. Baba, I'm, so please don't take me in the wrong way. This is uh, the relationship of pain, which very few people stick with. So, and even if you are a Hosseini, Shia, if you drink and if you go for tawaifs and if uh, all this you have done, then see that uh, your children, you know, it's the example and also that whether you will be able to be with Imam Hussain. No, when Imam Hussain will, you go, uh, when Imam Hussain is not going to come again, Imam Mahdi is going to come. So if you are a lover of Imam Hussain, So people will not like me criticizing them like I'm criticizing my father. You see, they're going to if that Imam Hussain is with if it, recently he told me Imam Hussain is with everyone. Yeah, Imam Hussain was with my mother, Imam Hussain was with me, but we were Kacha, we were raw Shias. And now someone will think on this. They will put it on me that uh, just because some Shia is not a true Shia, that's why, you know, her mind has gotten out of this religion. And just because people are suffering, suffering, God is. She thinks that God has done this. No, no, there are many things, uh, even in the Quran ayats which I have shown, which don't make sense. So... Uh, well and good if you if your life is great in Islam. Well and good. And if uh, your life, if you are still wondering, because I feel there are double standards in Islam. I feel if you are a momenin, but you know who your God is and you are Islam, you are Muslim, you are, uh, you know Prophet Muhammad, then I can uh, tell you that you know Prophet Muhammad. Uh, what are you? Are you a Shia? Then what to you a Shia is a Kafir? If you are a Sunni Muslim, worst creature, if you follow hum, Imam Humble, and if you are a Shia, then uh, Ismailis are going to hell with their Imam because we are told in the Quran that God will raise you with your Imam. And if you are following the wrong Imam, which has an atom's worth of, uh, what you call it, Zulm, and if he's not the right Imam, true Imam, then you are going, your Imam is going to take you to hell. So, they say, these are the things we, I feel, I have to consider, and so I'm sharing. And if you are going to 
be like azad ground on me yeah there on almasal thing and things i can't explain like for the apostate prophet i i feel am i deluded because uh, what is this going on i feel he knows or he you know uh, like someone who looks like some uncle's son uncle meaning my father so you know what i mean like that and i was in getting a good feeling there so and then i felt that no no here i say you know this some energy stopping me from going live stream with him so i question that what is it here that is uh, preventing me and uh, as i was contemplating on this he said that yes he has someone told him there on the live stream that amina sardar wants to speak to you and so he was yes yes i have been waiting for amina sardar although really i have n- uh, not been jealous or insecure like this really these are very low things petty things to waste one's time on all right uh, so i mean i felt sometimes i feel the people on the live stream they're doing great a great job talking and really me going there i would not even be able to talk so someone before had said that no no you go there you will learn uh, in the beginning they encouraged me so i was much appreciative of them later on i don't know that the same person like uh, he changed on me so and i changed also i don't know i don't know so but uh, you know like uh, i feel no no really sometimes if i i want to listen and i want to see it, but if there's something that i can add or then i will in the end perhaps after all the people if if someone has given me answer there i don't want to go live stream so but something was really funny there on apostate prophet's live stream that night and also when he came with another young man interview and uh, so i was thinking what is this going on right uh so the question came up that uh, these people doing live streams and you know you can say islam but uh, islam is wrong you can show yes that is very good because whether i agree to it or not but as a shia of a shia will question this that oh this is from the sunni hadiths we can when we look at the truth we look at the sunni hadiths but uh, just taking one sunni hadith out and showing how ridiculous this man was oops i just it will not uh, work for the shias and compare even comparing it with the quran ayat it will not work so with the shias so that's why from the shia point of view because the shias are going to question me the jafri sect has the right to execute me and i also feel sometimes very oh my god am i Did I do the right? Is Imam Mahdi coming? Should I follow this one or the Hindu guru? This master is giving me a signs. How how much am I feeling is true? Am I taking it the right way? Am I taking its message the right way? And so I'm questioning these things. 
and as I'm questioning, I'm sharing, and I hope you won't hold this against me like I want to impose my will on you people, like Azad Ground and all. Okay, so, and using that Al Musa thing against Al Musa, what I was saying. I was just proving that, you see, finally Azad Ground got uh, disturbed because it's a free thing. You can say anything you like about anyone, even Al Musa. This way, you're going to create all these bad feelings and all this. You're, uh, so I'll talk uh, in detail later on. I can't go on right.